What's up, my friends? I'm Sprinkler Nerd Andy, and you're watching Sprinkler TV. All right, today we're gonna take a look at the Hydro Rain HRC 400 Wi-Fi controller, AKA the Beehive Smart Controller. So that's where we're gonna start. You may have seen the company Beehive or the brand Beehive, which is owned by Orbit. That is a sister brand to the brand Hydro Rain. So Hydro Rain makes lots of professional grade irrigation products that are sold through the wholesale channel. They're sold to distributors who sell to professional irrigation contractors who sell to end users, homeowners, property managers, commercial accounts, etc. cetera. The, the brand that is sold through hardware stores, box stores, orange, blue, red, you know what I'm talking about, that's the Beehive brand. But it's important to know that they are the very same controller. So if you happen to see or you're shopping for a Beehive smart Wi-Fi controller and your irrigation contractor proposes the Hydro Rain controller, same thing, exactly the same thing. So just keep that in mind. I don't know exactly how the prices uh, shake out, but it's likely that you can buy the Beehive controller either directly from the box store for less money than your professional contractor will charge you uh, if they sell it to you. And of course, you can buy the Hydro Rain controller directly from our website, sprinklersupplystore.com. So without further ado, let's get right into the unboxing of the Hydro Rain HRC 400 smart controller. So what's kind of cool is that the Hydro Rain is actually labeling this as works with Amazon Alexa, also works with Google Assistant. The one that we're gonna take a look at today is the eight station model. Get it out of the box. Again, they're reminding you to download the app either from the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. Let's take it out. Instructions, you know, and I'm not a big fan of instructions, but I do think because you need to connect it to the internet, it might not be a bad idea to keep those handy. And then it does come with some mounting hardware. It comes with a key and then it comes with two drywall anchors, two screws. And again, depending on where you're mounting it, you may or may not use these. Use whatever hardware is appropriate for wherever you are mounting this controller. Then it comes with a screwdriver. We'll check that out in just a minute. And then two keys that again, here they are. They say Beehive. Let me flip this around just so you know that the Hydro Rain and the Beehive are the same. Oh, wow, there it is. Beehive, see that? It's just a Beehive controller. And let's see, it's probably not locked out of the box. It is not. We'll go ahead and open it up. It does come pre-wired to plug right in to the wall, which means it has an internal transformer, which means you can mount this controller outdoors if you would like. If you are gonna mount it outdoors, make sure that you have a GFI outdoor rated plug that you're plugging it into, or you can cut the end off this plug and you could hardwire it directly in to your power source. Okay, so this is outdoor rated. And if it's outdoor rated, you can also put it inside. Let's open it up. All right, inside we have a handy dandy little zone chart sticker indicator. I guess you could stick that right here or you could stick it over here. Now, I will remind you that this is handy when you're standing at the controller operating things, but the whole point of this controller is to do it from your phone. I personally have this, I'm experimenting with this controller at my house right now, and I do everything from the app. I don't ever go to the controller, except for the first time when you set it up and you connect it to Wi-Fi. It's the only time you need to come to this controller. Otherwise, you can do everything directly from your smartphone. Let's see what this says. Unplug controller before wiring rain sensor. Huh, that's interesting. I've never seen a controller that says that before, but let's, uh, take their word for it. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you this up close because the camera's a little blurry at that other angle. Now, what you can see is, come on camera, let's focus here. Focus, focus. There we go. So the orange is the sensor terminal. The white is the common wire coming from your field. That's typically a 
white wire, and then you have the pump, then you've got zones one through eight, and it looks like there's a secondary common, which is actually kind of helpful to have two common locations. And if you're using a wireless rain sensor, you will plug it into the 24 VAC out, that's the dark orange, that can power your wireless rain sensor. So again, this is very easy. Uh, this little black screwdriver here that uh, came with it can be used to loosen up the terminal lugs on, on the controller to put in your zone wires. And then it, this does have Wi-Fi built into it. So when you power it up, you're gonna go through a series of uh, commands on the controller. You're gonna find your Wi-Fi network. You're going to enter a password if you have that password. And then this controller is gonna go connect up to the server. And then you can uh, identify this particular controller on your phone using the information displayed uh, on the screen. And look at that, this cover comes right off too. If this is going in your basement or your garage, you know, there may not even be a need to, to keep the cover, really. You can just take this, take this off entirely, okay? Um, yeah, so that's it. Let's take a look at the back. There is uh, one mounting screw here, and then you can add additional uh, points to secure it to the wall if you want to do that. But otherwise, it's actually a really, really uh, easy to use, very user friendly, very quick to respond uh, Wi-Fi controller. And again, I've been testing this at my house. It, it works really, really well. And what I really like about it is the user interface on the Beehive app. It couldn't be any easier, not only for setting your programs and connecting to things like smart weather station, uh, predictive rainfall data, but it's also really great for manual operation. You can just choose the zone, dial in the runtime, hit play. You can even build a manual program on the fly. You can say, add zone one, 10 minutes, add zone two, 12 minutes, add zone three, 33 minutes, hit play, and then it'll run through that sequence just really fast. So um, fantastic app. I highly recommend if you're looking for a Wi-Fi controller, the Beehive by Beehive or by Hydra Rain is an awesome choice. Give it a try. And if you have one and you're watching this video, comment down below, tell us what you like. Tell us uh, what I may have missed in this video. Tell us what you think other people should know about the Beehive smart Wi-Fi controller. And uh, if we can help you with anything, not only your controller, but sprinklers, valves, drip, we're happy to help you with any of your irrigation or sprinkler needs. You can reach us by phone, chat, email, text message. And that's all I got for you guys. Thank you for watching Sprinkler TV. Happy sprinkling, and we'll catch you on the next episode.